Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. So now we have seen the different ways of creating the project using the white and also the build tool which is available in the Vue.js which is the recommended way and also using the CDN also we have checked it. Now this is our project which we have created previously and now let's go each by each. So here the root project so the root file is nothing but main.js file. So here this is the root file and you need to understand that every view application starts by creating a new application instance so here we are creating a new application instance with the create app function so this create app function will create the new application instance so that is the main thing so this is the main thing we have understood and also we need to understand that the object we are passing into the create app is in fact a component so previously we used to pass something like data and all those things right so we will passing we can also pass the component so it's not a problem every app requires a root component so here this is a root component in this root component onwards we will be having other multiple components as a children so the root component of this project is nothing but app.view so this is the root component and from this root component we will be having the different different components here here in this instance the in this scaffolding project try to see this is the root component and in this root component we are able to see two components has been injected in this one so that is the main thing so if you are using a single file components so the right now what we are using is a single file components only we typically import the root component from another file so here this is an another file we import this root component so fine so we have understood about this one all so now and the other one what i want to tell you is the mounting of this app so here an application instance won't render anything until it is mounted so this application so if you don't if you, if you have created an app and if you are not using anything so let's see that okay it's running right so if you try to open this one so this is the project we are able to see it and if you try to create an app without mounting anything so you will not see any output see so we are not able to see any output so the application instance won't render anything until its mount method is called so it expects a an argument so that is either it can be an actual dom element or a css selector so here if you try to see here it is using a selector that is nothing but it is trying to call with the app which is available in the index.html here so this is an id is equal to app so this is the main thing so the content of the app's root component will be rendered inside this container element so whatever the content available in the app's root component so that is nothing but here this is an app component it will be rendered in between this new id is equal to app so this is the main thing the container element itself is not considered a part of the app so this container element itself is not considered as a part of the app <clears throat> Mount method should always be called after all configuration and asset registrations are done. So this one, if you try to see here the mount component when you are trying to call it, it should be called at the final. So the registrations and all those things are done, then only we need to call it. I will show these all the things. So that is the main thing. And in, in the CDN setup and all those things, so that is a different way. So here you are able to see that we have used the data property and all those things we have used it. So fine now how can we register a component so in our previous example in the cdn we have created a component and we have added the component in the html so we are able to render the content in the html in in the uh, on the component present in the component now how we can create a component and how we can use it here Let, i will try to show you a simple example so here we are having these all the components right i am trying to remove this all code okay so these all code are not necessary for us and also in the app.view which is available so i am trying to remove this entire code and also i will remove this entire template code and also i will remove this all the style code also so the style code so i want to make it as a simple in the main.js so there is no need for us so here we can also remove this main.css okay whichever is useful so now this is our app.view okay i want to make it as simple so now let's create a new component in the component section so i am creating a new component in the new file so here my component dot view so i'm creating with the my component dot view and here if you want to register com if you want to create a component so here i can use a template and i'm using simple so component 
new component with the name component name so i will try to create it like this so this is our new component which we have created using our single file component structure and now in order to register this component so in order to use this component anywhere so we need to register this component so in order to register this component how we can use it is first we need to get the instance okay and this one we can remove it and here and i can use it something like app.mod so i am destructuring this one so now here in order to register a component so what i need to do app dot component so here it will be present not in the dot view uh, view instance the sorry not in the direct view so it is present in the view to previously like this but here it is available in the app component instance app component and here i can write something like my component so that selector name and here i can inject this my component so this my component is available here import my component from so it is available in something around in the component oh sorry in the component section and here my component dot view okay so this is the my component and here we have did it like this let's try to see the output so here it is executing and if you try to see here we are not able to see anything right why because the root component doesn't have anything so the root component is an app and in this app we haven't included any template so here let's try to add some template so view hello world or something like this i want to create a simple so now we have added a hello world and let's try to see see now we are able to see the hello world now i want to inject the component so as this one is a root component so through this root component only we need to add the shell component so here i can add something like here i can use my component so here i can use it directly like this otherwise you can also use it with the capital letters also not a problem okay so now here if i try to see the output here i am able to see the output see so, but we are having an error so why because fail to resolve the component why it is happening this one is as i already told you in the main.js this app dot mount should be done at the final after all registering the components and all those things so because of that reason it is happening so here we, we need to keep this app dot mode at the end so now this one will work without any problem see if i try to refresh this page also it will work so this is how we will be adding this one so now you will be able to have a clear understanding about this one how we are adding a component and all those things so let's try to move on to the another one so here if i am trying to use this hash app means don't think that only single application instance is available so this is not limited to the single application single application instance on the same page so the create app api allows you to create multiple view applications to coexist on the same page so each have its own scope for configuration in the global assets for example let's say that so in the index.html i want to add something like div id is equal to app2 okay so here this is an app2 and you can also create an another instance using this one so for example here in the main.js and here i can have something like constant app2 is equal to to create app i can use it and we will send the same app only okay or otherwise you can send the my component also it's not a problem and here i will try to use app.mount of this time i will use hash app2 so this time we are having two multiple instances so here you'll be able to see app has already been mounted so here we need to use app2 okay you try to see here we are able to see another hello world and if you try to inject this my component if you try to inject this my component then also it will work so but this time the my component is a root component for this one so that is the, that is a difference so when we will be using this type of things is when you are trying to use the view to enhance the server rendered html and only need view to control the specific parts of a large page means so you can use this type of things so this is the main thing this is another thing which i want to explain you if your application is a server side rendering just like the jquery and all those things we will be using it right in the backend uh, applications so if you want to use in those scenarios you can use this type of things also so this is all about the application overview so i want to give you an overview so then afterwards you'll try to learn one by one the syntax available in the composition api if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you